Hey everybody, Cardboard Jesus with you. Welcome. We are getting ready to do Don Russ 2018 four box number five. Come forth. All right, it is a fresh case, so we will get the. Uh, I'll just get four boxes out of this. And I'll just be the top four. Why not? Uno, dos, trace, cuatro, and that's it. Four boxes. Let me put this in the cage. Okay. Put this over on this side. Don Russ, dude, everything that we have done tonight basically has had variations in it. I mean, okay. Well, no, 16 Chrome has got variations. Draft is the only thing that doesn't have variations. E, I mean, if we're going to be, if I'm going to be technical about it, even Infinity has like, like some of those unnumbered crazy cards, like with the weird looking stuff. Bitter variations. Everything has has been a struggle tonight, really. As far as identification is concerned. Let's get him out. Go ahead and get them all out because that's just what I've decided that I want to do. And you guys listen to uh, any my like, serial podcast? There's one that I listen to now that I am getting like caught up on. And when I get caught up, like like I normally like binge listen to binge listen to podcasts. And when I'm caught up, like I gotta find something else to binge listen to until you know the, the one that I'm currently listening to has like new episodes. No, oh, come on, so very really nice. I don't know what I don't know what got me into it. There's there's like three that I, I mean well two well okay one is completely done one that had like a very significant ending and then there's like two others that are, they're like I mean essentially TV shows but for your ears you know. Did I listen to? 
I listen, I've, like, I've listened to a couple of books on tape, like, through Audible, and, like, I enjoy that. Like, that's, I would, I'd like to get, if, if I knew of a book that I really, really wanted to listen to, I would, like, sign back up for Audible. But basically, I sign up for it, for the free book, and then bailed on it. I read, I listened to The Martian, that Matt Damon movie. Very, very good. And listened to uh, that Ready Player One. That's the uh, the movie that's uh, coming out with from Steven, Steven Spielberg. I listened, I listened to that a couple, of, you know, like a year ago. Do I, man? Everything that I listen to is like, to me, is like fringe and sketchy. So I don't, I don't know that there's anybody else that has like weird tastes like I do. Are you into horror at all, or like you know paranormal ish horror kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, see, it's, I mean, see, it's weird. Well, okay, there's this, there's one that I listen to. I mean, this is the one that I've been binging lately. The Magnus Archives. They're about 30, I mean, well, they're... Beginning like beginning in about thirty minutes long, they it it is like you can, you can listen to just one of them with no issue, but there is like a like a running story through it, like because I'm through th season three now I guess. It's British. I don't know if that makes makes any difference to you. But it's basically like a guy who is the arch who who is the uh, archive master or whatever of this institute, reading stories of, like if you have like some paranormal experience, you go to the Magnus Archive and you read your statement or write down your statement. Well, he reads the statement to record it for like posterity or whatever. But then, you know, weird shit goes down. It's, I don't know. It's, again, like, I, I mean, you're gonna, you're probably gonna listen to it and you're be like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Why is he listening to this garbage? But it's, I don't know. I got, I got free time driving. Is it, kind of my deal. Or if, if I have to sort, I put it on. Well, I mean, this, I mean, it's, it's all, eh, may, maybe give it a try. I mean, again, it's, I mean, they're 30 minutes long. If you miss one, well, you know, it's, it's a podcast. So it's not like you're missing them anyway, but you don't have, you don't have to re, like listen to them in order. I don't know. I, I have I have, I, I started, God, see, I don't, even, I don't even know if I want to say this, like, a month ago, with episode one, <laughs> and I think I'm up to, like, episode 89 now, which has been basically an entire work week of listening to this weirdness. But some, I mean, I don't know, something about it, and there's, I mean, there's, it's not, it's an overarching story. The, like, the story, like, the internal story doesn't get heavy, heavy until, like, season two and a half. Otherwise, it's just, like, little individual, like, ghost stories, basically. Just, like, ghost stories.
Alright, let's get through this. Uh, well, I mean, listen, if you come, if you make it to Miami. Okay, now I'll say this. When you make it to Miami, Key West has a, uh, has like a haunted, haunted tour that you, like, you can go on, you get like a tram and you guys walk, like a, a tram and walking tour and stuff of like some haunted shit in Key West. Like you, me, and Jesse, hit that shit up. We'll just we'll just go dark on RCC that night. For the for the bigliness of you, of you being here. But I've I've heard some fun stuff about it, like you know that the the trip. I don't know exactly what's haunted in Key West, but I've it's it's apparently a, a popular tour. Yeah, and there's something it's not like spooky exactly, but there's something called the Coral Castle here that this dude Hat was like in love with his lady, so he made this castle out of coral. But like the way that he did it, you just can't. It's almost like the pyramids. Like, like people don't know how how he even did it. Um, no, Devin, I, as much as I would like to have uh, Barra back here, I mean, he lives in Portugal. Like, he was just, he was here for vacation. So, I mean, if he was local, damn right, he'd be back. But, I mean, he, he literally, he lives in Portugal. He was here just to, you know, just to hang out and, or do, well, I mean, with his family to hang out and just. You know, since he was here, it was like hell. You know, why why not get into it and do some uh, do some breaks? Okay. <sighs> Give me a second. Yeah, he's crazy. He's crazy. I mean, he's like very normal. In the beginning, like very normal, he's just like some guy. You're talking to him about cars, about this and that. As time goes on, and he gets more comfortable, he gets more insane. And then all of a sudden, he just like get, just goes like ape shit crazy. It works, and it's great, and it sells a lot of spots, and like does a lot of breaks. But man, he he's a good time. I like him. Oh no, hundred percent a good kind of insane. Hundred percent, I I like him very much. Like I would, I if he came back, I would hundred percent hang out with him. Like I, I I do very very much like him. All right, let's see what we've got here. Okay, now here's the deal. Here's the deal. There's a lot of this stuff that I know are variations that I just can't keep track of. So I almost don't I almost don't want to even pull any of them just because it's so much easier and cleaner to go through them and find them on the backside. Like, if I half pull some of these, and we're going to have to take a small stack, we're going to have to turn that around, put it into a bigger stack, and then, you know, like, touching of the cards is kind of where I'm at with the variations. Because there, there's a ton of them. It's not, I mean, it's not super, super short printed. 
So I'm thinking about just going, well, not even thinking about it. I'm just going to go through all of it. I'm going to show them. I'm going to tell you that I am aware that there are short prints in it. I know it, but I personally think that if we just go, th that if, if our team goes through them at the end of the day, uh, American Pride, they're going to be better taken care of than if I take out half of them not even sure if those half are short printed then move to the second half well no i mean i'm not it's just it, it's hard it, because there are so many of them uh clubber 249 i'm like if it was like heritage that there was like five per half case or something all day long i'd pull them out i'd sleeve them all this a third of these cards are short prints or or variations so it's you know it's just not it, it's not worth the time to do it uh a sano uh, for the twins is in the 80 what is it 89 variation 87? I don't know. No, do I? Well, listen, I've sorted a bunch of it. I've been up their ass. I mean, Donruss is mercifully easy. Because if you look at it, there's like black balls. There's white balls. Well, for, for base cards... For base cards, black balls are variations. For the uh, uh, retro ones, white ones are variations. So they're easy to pick up. Like they're easy to find if you're if you're going backside. Like I mean, again, like Mr. Smile. Like I know that's that's a variation. But you're gonna there's gonna be probably four Mr. Smiles. When this is all said and done, if not more, Jose Ramirez to one ninety nine, a okay, George Brett to one ninety nine. Um, Jason, I don't. There's a. There is a full case random teams that is on Rip City cards that is going nowhere. And if if that one continues to be just like a hot piece of doo doo, then uh, then we'll probably refund that and then put it on eBay. Probably. Uh, Dominic Smith, 5 out of 99 for the Mets. But in general, in general, Heritage is done. Uh, Goldschmidt at 349. We got this one, a uh, Brian Johnson Pros Materials. So again, I know there are variations. I know they're here. There are not. They are not so short printed to nine ninety nine Lindor. That it's going to be easier for sorting, packing, and shipping to just pull them out all at one time. Take them out, sleeve them, do what they got to do with them, and we, and we move on. In Carte, it's two ninety nine. Because if I try and like look through and get them all, Freddie Freeman three to four ninety nine, get them all, we're gonna be here all day. And there's just too many to to make it worth it. Uh, Tyler Mail, the Reds autograph.
Uh, Wayne Wright to 199. Oh, you got you've got five spots in the random, Jason. Then yeah, then there's a good chance that thing gets uh, gets pulled. John Donaldson to five hundred. Uh, Senegar to one ninety nine. We got a uh, Braden Shipley patch autograph, promising pros. Central material autograph. Mound marbles of two forty nine. Otani. Well, it's not Otani. It's no Otani. We'll sleeve it. We shall sleeve it, and by we, I mean I. A Hosmer swatchery for the Kansas City Royals. That's a vintage. Variation, sort of. Uh, Puerto Rico's finest. We got to do a whole different thing with them. Diamond collection. Yimer, Candelario for the Tigers. Oh my God! I hate these chairs. Is it worth it for me to go to a store and like just straight up buy a decent chair? Probably. Let's see if I get paid this month. If I get paid this month, then maybe I'll do it. So yes, there are variations. Yes, I know they're there. There's so many that we're just going to go through them at the end of this. Well, some, well sorting packing shipping go through them at the end of this break. A Fergie Jenkins autograph. My goodness, for the Cubs to 99. Unexpected. Unexpected Fergie Jenkins. I knew he was all up in a bunch of business, but I, ha I hadn't seen a Fergie Jenkins so far. Uh, and Otani to $9.99. Robbie Ray to Yes, I saw a fistful of uh, variations in there. There's more variations. There's a variation. More Puerto Ricos. A uh, Jose Ramirez to uh, 345. They're here, but there's just too many to go through right now. Take care of them all. SSP, and by that I mean sorting, packing, and shipping handles a business. More American Pride. Those will be random to everybody that's in the break for sale to two ninety eight. I gotta tell you, somebody here sent me
Corey Sager swatchery. A 1989 Ken Griffey Jr. traded card. PSA graded 9. It's a card that I hunted for my entire childhood. And I finally have it. And it means the world to me. Like, I did, I did not know that I could care so much for one old card with, you know, I mean, it has value, but it's, I mean, it's, it's by no means like some, you know, hundred dollar card or something. To 25, Kyle Sager. The Griffey, yeah. It brings it brings back such memories to me. Matt Medley sent me a PSA graded eighty nine Griffey rookie. Uh Albaz two eighty six. And I I just love it. I took it home even. Adam Frazier patch autograph for the uh, Pirates. Uh, Bryce Harper to 386. I think I've messed up a little bit something here. Corey Sager to 249. I think I didn't finish these. Well, it, I mean, it is a nice thing. Uh, Arenado to 349. I mean that's see that's the thing. I mean, listen. I mean, I I don't know what it goes for on eBay. I mean, it's it's probably probably a thirty dollar card maybe. But to me, like I just I I have such memories of like visiting my grandparents, going to grocery stores like at their house, like you know in their town, and making my parents buy me the hanger packs of uh, eighty nine tops, taking them home, going through them with my cousins who were like. I don't know, they're probably 10 years older than me, so at the time, they were like gods in my eyes. You know, they, they would even hang out with me and do something like that to uh, 999 Martinez. It, it just brings back a lot of fond memories. And then to have, like, the one card that I looked, that I tried to buy, that I tried to find, Jorge Lopez, uh, Brewers, for for an entire year basically only to find out you know decades later that it didn't even exist in what in in where I was trying to find it it was nice I, I don't know I, I texted him but I think he might have a different phone number because he did he did not reply to me. Paulino Astros. I'm just kind of hoping he's going to show up one day. You know, he normally swings around every so often. Yeah, yeah, there are variations here. Dominic Smith to 199. No, there are. We're gonna get them all at one, all in one foul swoop. A uh, Daniel Robertson, Tampa Bay Rays swatch autograph. I don't know. It just I don't know. It makes me think it's like weird things that like that you end up caring about, kind of you know, that that tug the heartstrings, kind of. I don't know. Let's just do Don Russ and quit being a little a little baby about some stuff. A Greg Bird autograph for the Yankees. Let's get this party started. Verlander to three forty nine. Freeman to 249. 
Altuve to $9.99. John Lester to $1.99. Puerto Rico. I don't really need to yank any more of those out. Giancarlo Stanton to 99. As the Yankees. I think there are Stanton variations that are Marlins in this. But that particular one is a Yankee. Another American Pride. Random those at the end. No, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Hang on. <sighs> Anders to forty nine. Uh, Vato to nine ninety nine. A Javier Baez two color swatch for the Cubs. Yeah, dude, I hate the, I hate the Yankees. But dang, I mean, that batting lineup looks strong. Like, almost enough to make me want to watch it. Kind of. Is the, is the problem. What happened to Bird, Michael? I, I, hadn't, I have not heard... I, listen, I don't follow it that much, but I hadn't heard what happened to Bird. Delmonico for the Cubs. Not for Cubs. For the White Sox autograph. Shirts are to three forty nine. So Peralta to three forty five. <laughs> Woof. Vagina. Somebody is not a Yankees fan. Not a Yankees fan. Well, dude, my Giants are already down like two starters. Uh, Tony Gwynn to uh, one or to 319. So, you know. If, if they're one guy down for spring train or for beginning of the season, you know, screw, screw them. Andrew Vaughn, American Pride, and American, another American Vaughn, Andrew Vaughn, American Pride. Ian Happ, 99. Okay. Well, no, I mean, listen, Michael. I appreciate the information because I did not. I did not know those things. All right. Let me get some dice. We're gonna do some randoms. Five is gonna be our number. Let me get some stuff squared up. I am definitely eating a cheeseburger on the way home. Okay. Where is the team list?
Okay, the this is for the uh, for the American Pride cards. Gonna go five times. Top spot after five is gonna get them. Five times going to the Blue Jays. Okay, now we have some that are tops and bottoms. For instance, uh, let me see the other side. The uh, Ozzy Smith, Ryan Sandberg, tops and bottoms. We'll do those five times as well. Five times going to the bottom spot. And then we've got the uh, Puerto Rico's finest, which is going to be a uh, top, middle, and bottom. Five times. Five times. Going to the middle. So, let's try and do a recap here right quick. I think all our autographs are here. Let me double check this real quick. I didn't put any in there. Nope. All right. So here are all of our autographs. I guess if you wanted to see it, it would be nice if I were to get rid of that. Uh, Delmonico, White Sox, a Bird, Yankees. Patch autograph for Robertson of the Rays. Patch autograph for Frazier of the Pirates. A Fergie Jenkins to 99 for the Cubs. A uh, Braden Shipley patch autograph for the Diamondbacks, uh, male Reds, and a Dominic Smith to 99 for the Mets. Thank you, everybody. We'll get this right out to you.